there everybody and welcome back to my channel! I'm Katerina Posplay and today I wanted to talk about El Mundo Fantasia. So El Mundo Fantasia is a fantasy fair in the very very south of the Netherlands in Landgraaf. Um, I've been once before back in 2019 and of course stuff happened and we couldn't go to events for a while so this was my first time returning after a very very long time. This is a two-day event and I went both days although I'll probably mostly be talking about the first day. For day one, I cosplayed Morgana from uh, Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic. This park has a lot of themed gardens, and one in particular that caught my eye the first time I went was the Arabic slash Moroccan garden. Um, besides the fact that I love that like gardening exterior style, I just thought it was a really good fit for Morgana and other Magi characters. So. Um, before I stopped cosplaying her, I really wanted to shoot this cosplay at this location, and I'm very glad that I did. I spent the first day with the lovely Naren Koss and her family. They went by car, and I was allowed to carpool with them, which was very convenient. So we basically started the day by taking photos. It was going to get really hot that day, so uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to get the photos out of the way and then just enjoy the event for uh, all the other things that you could do there. Um, Natasha went as a very pretty fairy, which I took some photos of. Oh, here are those. Um, later in the day she changed into Alibaba, also from Maggie, so she could shoot together. In the meantime, I took some solo shots with uh, Natasha's dad, who's also a photographer. With the photos done, of course, it was time for the best element of this particular event, which is the all-you-can-eat stands. Oh my god. So, um... Included in your ticket for this event is all you can eat, that's just an element of the park itself uh, that you can enjoy as a visitor. So there was like fries, uh, croquetten, um, pasta, little pancakes, things like that. And we tried to like actually try every single food this time because it's it's just, it's free, you can grab some stuff, eat it, and that was just really chill. The food might have not been the most luxury type of food but that's kind of what's expected uh, with all you could eat stuff here um the lines were kind of long around the second half of the day so we just kind of made sure to eat around 12-ish and around and visited all the things that we wanted to see unlike most fantasy fairs el mundo fantasia wasn't a closed off event this park was also just open to the public for people who had tickets so there were a lot of families uh with their kids just running around so I think that might have been a bit of a downside just because it was busy but it wasn't busy with fantasy fair visitors it was families having an outing with their kids and enjoying the park the way you would enjoy the park on a regular day but the really busy parts were mostly where the rides were because yes there were rides are you ready are you ready to be like a fun we are literal children of course there's an element of this park which is that there's a little ride area so there's a roller coaster there's one of those like spinny things with the swings that natasha and i went on which is very nice it kind of gives more of a festival vibe i think uh, the location is also used for a music festival uh some other time in the year and uh, I always think that's kind of fun because uh, although there's plenty to do at fantasy fairs, having things like rides and roller coasters to go on is like a, a kind of a quirky uh, thing to do. They're all very kid friendly. Um, it is a park usually visited by families with their children, um, but they were really fun. At this point in the day, it was starting to get quite hot, so we decided to just change into more casual wear to not overheat during the day. Natasha has snatched her second wig in of the day. Uh, it's really hot out here. For the rest of the afternoon, we kind of just walked around, looked at all the stalls, go and see the bird exhibit, which is this big building with a bunch of birds in there. Um, I have a lot of shots of that. Hello. It is entirely too hot, so um, we got changed out of the costumes and now we're in this inside place and there's birds behind us and I look like a normie, which is weird at an event. Which ones? Which ones? Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Natasha, I was just picking a fight with the one in the cage. <laughs> What an asshole! What a rude individual. 
Look at him. Just going, which one? Just rubbing it in. Like, I'm free, you're not. You're. <laughs> feelings about the fact that this park also has a zoo uh i don't know the birds seemed quite all right but they also had like lions and tigers which i didn't film because they looked very sad and i honestly i i don't know how i feel about it and that was pretty much what we did on day one day two was a bit different i didn't film as much i uh, visited the park with some old college friends um they'd never been to a fantasy fair before and they play D&D and they really like fancy as a genre and they'd always wanted to go so I gave them a little tour of the event. Um, I mostly have b-roll from this day. What was a bit silly though is I completely forgot to take any photos of my costume of that day so um, a couple days ago I recorded, uh, I put the whole costume back on and I just took some shots in my back garden to show you because I think it's a really cute outfit and I wanted to talk about it so the hat I made uh, together with a little floral thing on the bag uh, about a year ago around Halloween time um, and then I kind of just made an outfit that was a bit more weatherproof for hot weather because the original outfit was very autumn winter attire-esque uh, but I felt it was really cute. I added some potion bottles uh, as a belt attachment which I think is a really nice touch um, and I did it in the colours of the flowers on the witch hat. Uh, the witch hat is made out of pizza boxes and old fabric and then the flowers and things I found in like really cheap uh, essentially dollar stores all around the year. Whenever I see pretty fake flowers I have to buy them because I think oh I could make a flower crown out of this and then I'll have another one because I don't have enough. To be honest you never have enough flower crowns and also floral witch hats are an aesthetic that I can very much get behind. <laughs> Finally, I also did some shopping at El Mundo because of course I did. Uh, so let me just show you that. So of course I had to get some mead. Um, this bottle is almost finished because it's been a while since I went to El Mundo and also this is delicious. Um, this is a melon flavoured uh, mead and it's a really nice summery flavour. We get the melony sweet flavour and then there's a very slight honey taste afterwards. Um, big fat recommend. I might have been attracted mostly to the uh, exterior of the bottle but the taste was also really good so I just had to get it. And it also came with this little tote bag which says Mead Me and a little bee on top which is very cute. Let me just show you the little bee. Very happy. The only other stall I shopped from is the Rogue's Hoard which is a shop owned by a friend of mine, Jace. Also an empty asylum cosplay or Cybern as on Twitch which Check out the streams, they're really funny, genuinely really enjoyable. Um, but for his small business, he makes dice bags, which are freaking beautiful. I actually have my dice in here right now. Um, it's uh, made out of leather and it's just very nice and it opens up and it's, oh, there's so many nice details and it's very nice. So uh, since I've been playing a lot more D&D lately, I felt like this was a very sensible purchase to make. And then I also got some stickers. I have this very pretty one and then of course a D20. Um, I also made some D20 bunting this summer, which is just a random craft, but I wanted to talk about it because I made this. And then of course a dice goblin because I know what I am and I'm not ashamed of it. And that was El Mundo Fantasia 2022. I do think the convention has a lot of potential, but because most of the visitors are still regular visitors rather than fantasy fair visitors, sometimes it felt a bit like you were still the odd one out even though it's supposed to be like a fantasy fair. I think the location is really beautiful and all the stalls make it a lot more immersive. 
but in comparison to other fantasy fairs there just weren't a lot of cosplayers around um, and that was maybe a bit of a shame because there were beautiful beautiful cosplayers um, but I would like to see more of them so if you are considering going next year then I highly suggest you do because the more cosplayers this event gets the better it probably is. Still I do think I'm gonna go back next year maybe only one day just because two days ended up being a bit exhausting but um, El Mundo Fantasia is still a pretty fun event. Uh, one of my friends said it best it's a solid six and I think it could be better so that was the end of the video hope you enjoyed. Um, I know I've been gone for quite a long time about half a year at this point and uh, to kind of make up for that I'm gonna start uploading weekly for the rest of the summer break and then go back to monthly uploads um, with a couple extra things in between if I remember to vlog <laughs> the next few conventions I go to. But that's the end of it, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!